what's wrong with people? No, for real, for real. What's wrong with people? It's the thought process for me. You know, not everybody's built the same, and I totally understand that. But listen, when you want to talk to somebody, have some type of motivation or something. Like, act like you're actually in tune with them. It's the thought process for me. What's wrong with you fools? It be the thought process for me. You know that spark that when you saw that person, when you engaged into their eyes, when you first met them, like, oh, yeah, you, I want to see what's up. And it was a two-way street. Like, what happened? Like, what's wrong with people? It be the thought process of me. Like, if you want to talk to somebody and they acknowledge and like, yo, I'm the type of person, like, when I show you I'm in tune with you, I'm sure you I'm in tune with you. Like, Ain't no fake gaslighting you at the end of the day. Like, you have been minding your business with the mind your business. A person just don't understand. Like, yo, we've been together for how many years and I, I still never switched up on you? <laughs> but it's gonna show up when you switch up on me. And the thought process for me. <laughs> I was in it to win and you was in it to. Slave me on my goddamn thought process. It be the thought process for me. You know, you, when you want to those type of people that mean what you say and say what you mean, that you ain't got a fake gas like somebody, like, you mean what you say when you show up for a relationship? You ever been minding your business with the mind of your business? In your crush, the love of your life walks in the room and you don't understand what's going on. Your body just feels at peace <laughs> in the most healthiest way. You was already healthy already, but you more healthier now. If the love of your life is entering the room. Oh, love that first bite. Lord, take the well. It's the thought process of me. You ever had to reevaluate your life and say to yourself, I never knew my heart can beat until I laid eyes on you. My heart works. It works for you. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. You know, when you get into a situation with somebody and you're coming out your comfort zone, mean what you say and say what you mean that you true to yourself to be true with the person that you're trying to be in tune with. You know, good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. You don't got to bring the negative energy towards them. But you could be their peace in a healthy way when the world's against them. When the world's against them. You know, whatever they experienced in their past when it came to someone disrespecting them, someone of showing them that they wasn't worthy of themselves, or let alone they wasn't able to be themselves and comfortable in their own skin. And when you're a real one at the end of the day, you show that person what true love looks like up close in person without having to wear a mask to fake gas like them or manipulate their character from they truly not or to have malicious intentions. When you're the real one, you show up and mean what you're saying, say what you mean, that you're real with yourself to be real with someone, and you're willing to value their time. Stop wasting innocent people's time after the day, and I say that respectfully. Only to reevaluate your life to say to yourself is you just miss out on a good opportunity with a good person who actually meant well in your life, and that door was closed for all the right reasons because God has protected them to better days ahead so they can elevate to become their best selfish on themselves. Cause you didn't mean well. It'd be the thought process for me. When you come out your comfort zone, allow someone to come into allow someone to come into your your sanctuary, your peace, where you allow yourself to be yourself. Have genuine people around you. Have someone who actually acknowledge you in a healthy way, not in a controlling way. Cause true love doesn't have a hand problem. True love is not disrespecting someone and allowing them to feel unworthy of themselves. Just because it's something that you are used to, your norm, what they say is the norm of an upbringing, of toxic behavior, trauma after trauma, overlooked, abused, disrespected. That's not the norm. You deserve someone to value your time and honor you and respect you. The way you need to be treated with to, to, to yourself, at peace with yourself, to respect yourself in a healthy way, to acknowledge yourself in a healthy way, to have self-awareness, to understand when someone says they mean what they say and they say what they mean without no excuses, to truly value your time. 
not control you and disrespect you just because of what you saw. What you saw was not healthy love. And sorry you had to experience what you saw, but that's not healthy love. Love is not pain, and I mean that respectfully. Love is a celebration within a celebration, especially when God is guiding that relationship, and I say that respectfully. Because when you know, you know. Someone comes into your life to allow you to value each other's time at the end of the day. It's not to hurt each other. It's not to disrespect each other in a toxic behavior way or allow one another to feel like they're in competition with each other and they disrespect each other in the most toxic way. For what? What point are you proving at the end of the day? That's an unhealthy relationship. Why would you want to be in a relationship with someone that's jealous of you? At any given time, they can have malicious intentions. It's like you watching freedom. It be the thought process for me. Because not everybody's truly for you. Why would you want to sleep with the enemy when you overcame your pain? What you thought you overcame was pain. But you sleeping with the enemy, allowing the enemy to project negative energy on your mindset to allow you to believe that was true love. That's not an existence of love. That's allowing you to reevaluate your whole life to actually heal within, to go deep within and say, I acknowledge myself today to understand at the end of the day, that wasn't love. I love myself to know to come out of my comfort zone and know that I need to be rejected, treated with respect, with no malicious intentions. Because whatever I saw it growing up or an experience within the experience, they, they, it's all they show me was someone controlling me and abusing me and disrespecting me or overlooking me and then see me. You know, when someone takes your kindness for weakness or because you're a genuine sweet person, with no malicious intentions, and you let things bypass. Why, because you a real one, they ain't used to it. It's a thought process for me. You know, coming out your comfort zone, it ain't easy. But allowing someone to value your time is very important. Not someone to abuse you and, and allow you not to be able to show up for yourself, to elevate, to become your best self vision of yourself, or allow you to feel like you're supposed to be living in depression or living in fear or being in anxiety. You see how the enemy rolls in? It's the thought process for me. You got to protect your energy. Because not everybody's truly, it's truly for you. And it's okay. Regardless, protect for every direction. Protect your energy because not everybody's ever going to get time. And true love is real. True love is one of a kind with the right one that's truly for you. Someone that is not going to have malicious intentions to manipulate you or allow you to feel like you're unworthy of yourself. That's not true love. And you're not the one that's being the aggressive. And it doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is. And I say that respectfully. Stop the violence. And I say that respectfully. Stop the violence. How can you actually say you love someone, but you're taking away the love within yourself that you say you love yourself, so say, you say, but you're saying that you love somebody, but you're showing them that you're hurting them. You're taking the love away from them loving you because you're pushing them away. It's a thought process for me, how you project negative energy on an innocent person, then you play the victim card to manipulate a situation that you caused on yourself. Now you're reevaluating your life because they done walked away to find themselves, to elevate, to become their best self vision of themselves. And you don't like that because you have controlling issues. Keep your hands to yourself today, respectfully. And it doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is. And I say that respectfully. Now you genuine love, respect. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection every direction. True love is real. True love is one of a kind. When two people are on the same vibrational, high vibrational level, to actually be able to communicate with one another, to respect each other, to value each other's time with no malicious intentions, to bring harm towards each other, but to actually acknowledge each other in a healthy way. That toxic behavior don't live here today when it comes to that healthy bond that God created when your steps is ordered, when you least expect it. True love is real, true love is one of a kind with the right one that's truly for you. Now you genuine love, respect. I actually appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Protect your energy, because not everybody's ever your time. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. Never allow the enemy or hate in the skies or personal listed intentions. It's like you're just throwing about your freedom in your pockets. You are genuine love by all the right people, and you're genuine respect by all the right people. I actually appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Now you genuine love, respect. Have a safe day, have a safe week.